Hi, I'm Mike Darda with Century 21. If you're watching this video, that means you're probably considering hiring me as your agent to get your home sold. And I want to share with you some of the frequently asked questions from prospective sellers such as yourself. Maybe one of these might fit a question you have for me. The first question I often ask is, would I take less than a six month listing? And the answer on that is our company policy is six months. And the reason that's important to you is the average time on the market is actually four months plus in our area. So all we're asking for is the statistical time it takes to get a return on the investment and get your house sold. Another question that comes up is, Mike, what if I just sell it myself? Can I save the commission? And you know what? You can save the commission if you sell yourself. One thing you might consider before doing that, though, is that only 18% of all the for sale by owners sell themselves. And the rest, 82%, end up listing and selling with a real estate agent. So before going down that path, you might ask yourself, are you prepared to have less than an 18% chance of getting your home sold? Another commonly asked question is, Mike, can we list our home for higher than you're recommending and we can always reduce the price later? That's a valid concern. You know, you can start higher and reduce it later, but consider what that might cost you. You see, when you list a home on the market, it hits all the realtors' databases as a new listing. And through the MLS and listing book and other tools on the internet, buyers that are searching for homes like yours, many of them have pre-programmed their email accounts to get emails of fresh new listings. You want to put your best foot forward at this time. You want to come off at the right price while you've got the big audience watching. If you reduce it later, you're not going to have nearly as many people notice your home as a reduction as it will when it's a brand new listing. So we really want to come off out of the gate strong at the right price. Another question that comes up is, you know, Mike, I've got a friend in the business. And you know what? Almost everybody does have a friend in the business in our area. So the question I want you to ask yourself there is, do you absolutely have to sell your home or are you just looking to do your friend a favor? And one thing that comes up now and then is, Mike, what are you doing to sell homes that's different from any of the other agents? And there's a lot of things, but just briefly, I'm an active agent. Most agents out there are passive. They stick a sign out front, throw you in the MLS, throw you on the internet, maybe run an ad, do an open house. But those are all passive techniques that or involve waiting, hoping, and praying a buyer shows up to buy your home. When you list with me, I'm literally going to actively and aggressively market your home, prospecting 20 to 30 prospective buyers a day, four hours a day on the phones, looking for the client for your home. Another question that comes up is commission. Mike, would you cut your commission? And 6% is our company policy, and with good reason. That's normal for our area. You see, agents that will take a lower commission often will offer a lower co-broke in the MLS, thus putting you at a disadvantage. Many buyers will not even see your home because agents will may skip it and go to the other competition that's offering a normal commission. So I don't want to put you at that disadvantage. In fact, my average listing is selling at more than 4% more than the average sale in MLS. That means we're going to more than make up any difference in commission you can possibly get with a discount. And then the last thing that comes up sometimes is they say, Mike, you know, other agents said they would reduce their commission. And that should be a huge red flag to you. You see, if another agent's so desperate to get your listing that they're willing to cut their own commission, think about it, they're cutting their own money. They're willing to do that. What do you think they're going to do when it comes time to defend your money and negotiate your sale price? You see, I may be tough on my commission but I'm really tough when it comes to defending you and the price we set on your home. So I hope that may have answered some of the questions you have. If for any reason you want to go in more detail on that or you have another question we didn't address, call me 239-542-2822 or give me an email at mike at dartagroup.com. Thanks for watching.